for today's cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. We have another what the fuck file. Because we actually could do a totally different channel that would nothing but what the fuck files, also known as idiots amongst us. Among us. <sighs> among us. I like the amongst. I like that ST. I like the English language. Now I was making a reference oh. towards the game. Oh, well, I don't know. Imposter among us. Imposter. Yeah. What? Imposter. Oh, no, anyhow. We are just... I'm astounded. I try to be a relatively <clears throat> logical, rational person. I have a lot of Virgo and Libra in my chart. Mm -hmm. And I'm a Leo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so you've got... Yeah. And, and so the world as it is today wears on me. It really, really does. It wears on all of us. <sighs> and It's and this, a lot to yeah, deal with. It is a lot to deal with. And especially we're recording this on November the 27th, 2023. Full moon in Gemini. I've got a moon in Gemini. Does that mean I need to stay in my room? No. No, it really doesn't. It just means that it's like breaking points for me. It's clear cut. Some, one of them came today. We don't have to mention it. But sometimes I, you know, will sit there and go, hmm, which way do I want to go with this? I've got a decision. What do I want to do? And sometimes something will happen that the decision is made for me. And it's like, okay, I get it now. Because I asked God to give me clear cut signs like neon signs that I can't miss. And today was one of them. Yep. Yep. And so you don't always have to suffer fools in your life. No. You really don't. They may have, not everybody is there forever. Some some people, it's best to just bid them peace and send them on their way. When that's, it's done, it's done. Yeah, that seems to be the theme for this week. Uh-huh. I think it's going on a lot. These, and that actually does have a bearing in with our story today. Yeah, tell us a little bit about that. And this is from Daily Mail. is by Luke Ander Andrews, November the 27th of 2023. And taking selfies should be considered a public health problem according to new research. No, stupid people should be a public health <laughs> problem. <laughs> I'm going to wait for everybody to do a, be able to put down their coffee before they do the face palm. And it says academics in Australia analyzed that scientific hurts. papers and media reports on injuries or deaths from selfies worldwide since 2008. Now, I want to know if taxpayer monies went in to fund this research. <laughs> because that's what happens a lot of times. You know it was. You know it was. But this and is it was in the Australia. most stupid. So those of y'all down in the land of Oz, y'all need to take that out down there. It must have been a slow there. news day. Uh-huh. Yeah. And it's, it was a slow and news day. And they don't day. want to publish the alien shit. So. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. It says they had found that nearly 400 had been reported over the 13-year study period. That's a very low number. That's a very low number. Yeah. And that included 77 in the United States. Victims were most likely to be female tourists in their early 20s while falling and drowning were taking a photo leading to uh, the causes of death. You know, that's not the, that's not the action. That's the person. Mm -hmm. That's the, the, idiots are health hazards. Get this. Public health hazards. I think that some of these researchers are public health hazards. Researchers said the public must be made aware of the risk posed by selfies with an estimated 92 million snapped glo globally every day and urge social media apps to install software to warn people of the dangers as they go to take a selfie. That is not the responsibility of anybody who makes an app. No, it's not. It's responsibility and personal accountability. Mm -hmm. 
And Dr. Samuel Cornell, a risk expert at the University of New South Wales, Australia, and others wrote in the paper, quote, <coughs> the selfie-related incident phenomenon should be viewed as a public health problem that requires a public health response. No. To date, little attention has been paid to averting selfie-related incidents through behavioral change methodologies or direct messaging to users through apps. Although previous research has recommended no selfie zones, barriers and signage as ways to prevent selfie incidents, our results suggest this may not be enough. It may be prudent to also engage in direct safety messaging to social media users, end quote. Dr. Cornell, you are an enabler. Very much. Very much. This is just a thing called natural selection. Mm -hmm. And usually beforehand, before choosing to take a selfie, they were already doing some dumb shit. Mm -hmm. And then the story goes on, the article goes on to tell about some specific incidences of people and how they remove them the Dar darwin awards how they were darwin award winners yep. they need to have a specific page on the darwin awards for this type of shit they do they do and if you go back i'm also going to include a link from britannica.com about the greek myth of narcissus and what, what, to refresh people's memory on this, Narcissus had fallen in love with himself. He couldn't love anybody else and that his nymph mother had been told that uh, he would live to an old age as long as he remained unaware of himself. And what? then one day he saw his reflection in a pond and he fell in love with himself. Now, he actually had the opportunity to love someone else, and that was another nymph named Echo. He rejected her, and because he was so in love with himself, he pined away because he couldn't. It was like, you know, unrequited love. He couldn't hold himself, but he was in love with himself, and there was two different versions of it. One where he, he sat there. I've heard before that he just he fell into the water and drowned. I don't know where that one came from. Another one was that he wouldn't eat or drink or anything because he was too absorbed with looking at his reflection. And another one was that he removed himself also. Anyway, it didn't end well. No. And the image that we're using today I thought was brilliant. And it is from a... It must be like a blog post, and it's called Brand Powder. I've never heard of it. I that. hadn't heard of it either. There, there are so many things out there that are brilliant that we have, no under, we have no knowledge because it's just overload. Unless you go down some of these rabbit holes and you find these bits of wonderment. Yeah. And this was written by administrator on Brand Powder. <clears throat> I'm going to try to do it justice because, like I said, allergies and everything else. And this was written on January the 12th of 2017, and it's called Narcissism 2.0. And it says, Narcissism is the pursuit of gratification from vanity or egotistic admiration of one's own attributes. The term originated from Greek mythology, where the young Narcissus fell in love with his own image reflected in a pool of water. That's the definition we found on Wikipedia, and we won't go any deeper. Interestingly enough, no subject invites to a reflection better than Narcissus. The pool of water today has been replaced by the gorilla glass, the almost unbreakable crystal surface of our digital gadgets and devices. 
In the past, it was enough to dip your fingertips into the water to break the mirrored image into a series of expanding circles, thus interrupting the illusion of reality. Today, your fingers, like ice skaters, slide and swipe on the cold glass, activating and multiplying layers of alternative words that we grew to see as a perfect alternative to the real one. Narcissism today is not just the self-serving act of posting pictures of ourselves on social networks. This would be just a perpetuation of classic self-infatuation. We do more and worse than that. We discard what's real and select what's hyper-real. We retouch, slim, and filter our face. Then we add up Instagram or hipstamatic color filters and God knows what else in order to create an idealized projection not of the way we'd like to be, but the way we'd like to look. That's a fantastic performance in stupidity. This is Narcissus 2.0, the artificial eugenic of a superego aspiring to Photoshop surgery. Bravo! That was really well done. Excellent piece of writing. Excellent piece of I mean, awareness. You, you hit the nail on the head with that oh, yeah. one, like majorly. Oh, yeah. And like I said, I couldn't find an actual author's name on that, but we'll put the link on there. They may have other wonderments. <clears throat> and that made me just a small stip snippet. You know, maybe it's a momentary because some people you're like, God, this is great. And you go on and read and realize that they're just another dumbass. I don't know. But I thought that was brilliantly written. Yep. That was... <laughs> But in the really article well executed. of the of the researchers and them wanting, you cannot bubble wrap everybody. No, you can't. It's impossible. Okay. Now, the bubble wrap thing was tried in 2020. Let's protect them from themselves. Yeah, and people went let's, crazy. Absolutely. Let's trap them with themselves, inside themselves. Let's give them this alternative reality and see what the hell they do. And they went insane mm -hmm. yeah and we haven't seen the worst of it yet we're seeing trickles lots of trickles and i am so glad that i do not live in an urban environment every day i'm grateful <sighs> but this deal of perpetually looking at self and missing everything else that's going on around you. That is high fuckery. Because these people are going to end up with regret that I don't know they'll be able, whether or not they'll be able to live through it. To wake up. And how many people do this? That they end up, whatever age... They, look, they do look in the mirror. They actually see their own reflection. And they're like, what the hell have I done with my life? Oh, God, I am this old and I've missed it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's where you get some weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. So, what the fuck, Files? We know our people. We, we can talk amongst our people about this because we know they are not people that do these things. Yeah. That is very true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just astounding. Kid. At Life flash years, before your eyes. Yeah, really? <laughs> now, I'm not saying that I'm, I, I mean, I could go out here and do some derp something and win a Darwin Award myself. But it's not, it's too late. I've already spawned. So, yeah, but I know. don't want to be that asshole that <laughs> dies while taking a selfie. But there's other ways that people can remove themselves from the planet that are remarkably stupid. Uh, there's a vast quantity of ways. But there was a show based on the fucking no. shit. Thousand Ways to Die. Yeah. Have you seen it? I have seen that. And some of them are, like I said, I've been doing following the Darwin Awards for many years. They want, this one people wanted to do this. This fucking tug behind type thing at work one of them was in like oh god what is those big things that carry shit tow motor i guess whatever it 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 went fast roped like dude 
behind him. Uh huh. He was on like, I don't, I don't know what the fuck it was. Those plats. The pallets. Yeah, the pallets. Okay. He got hung. Oh my god. And, and literally the rope wrapped <gasps> around his whole oh. body. Split him in half. That's crazy. Uh huh. And I'll tell you something, when you've got somebody that's an idiot to begin with and you give them heavy equipment, that's recipe for disaster. Yeah. I yeah, saw that's that. why OSHA is a thing. Yes. <laughs> this is why I am a fan of OSHA. <laughs> but it's the people who don't pay any attention during the training things that this shit, you can't prevent an, an idiot and their life are soon parted. Yes. I mean, when I was doing, you know, the temporary job thing at the warehouse and saw somebody run off a loading dock with a tow motor, mm -hmm. that was incredible. <laughs> oh, oh. <coughs> yeah, that was incredible. But I also, that was when I was in Lexington, Kentucky that time. And first night up there... Somebody had run a van, SUV, what it was, through somebody's apartment through the picture window. Not sure why. You can lead a horse to water, can't make him drink. You can lead an idiot to culture, but can't make him think. That's true. I'll tell you something. I've been at some of the places, and people can say what they want to about some of these little pissant towns. Thank God for them, and I thank God I'm near one. Yeah, we're not right in town. <laughs> it's, it makes me want to go further back up in the mountains every time. And you know, right in the middle of town, there that those idiots are there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Our people are from way back up in on top of the mountains. <laughs> way back where, yeah. The village people. Well, we, we've got... And I, I was told recently Literally, by, by an you, uncle that we still have land that's way back. We, I've never I'm not seen it. And when I say vill village people, I ain't talking about the musical group. No. I'm talking <laughs> <laughs> that there is a place near here that's called Red Rock. And I actually need to get him to take us up there sometime because I've never been there. Yeah. Yeah. And before he dies, before he's another one that checks out of the planet, we need to get him to take us up there. Mm -hmm. Omega might know where it's at. He knows where everything else is. He might. He might. But it's like, around here, in these mountains, if you're an idiot, they will eat you up. You, they will eat you up. Stupid does not last long here. People die. And that's natural selection. And that was the comments on the article, the news article. That was what everybody was saying. They're like, we don't have a problem with this. This is natural selection. And somebody had said that since we no longer have to worry about tigers and bears and different things like that, that the selfies and stuff, it's just a different form of natural selection. Mm -hmm. And I could see that. Yeah. People shoot each other around here. No, not that often. Not, not that without often. justification. Not anymore. No, I mean, it's been years. I mean, honestly... It's been years. You just don't mess with people. We have clear, no. we have clear cut rules and, and ways of life and conduct, and that is our culture. Yep. And anybody who wants to come here, learn how things are done. If you don't, you'll get a very fast education in it. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. But it's more than likely it's somebody poked somebody with a stick for entirely too long yeah yep, 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 yep. yeah we're an odd people we are an odd breed of people uh -huh. final thoughts for we totally scare people to death <laughs> it's oh. like don't go up in the mountains they those strange people up there. it's true <laughs> it's true we well, are strange people. Don't sit your ass on a cliff and, and have your phone out looking at it, expecting <laughs> that you're going to make it back. Pay attention. Situational awareness. A dead ass. There was this girl that I used to watch on YouTube a few years ago, like back in 2015, 2016. She literally talked about the story where she was doing some stupid shit and fell off a cliff. Oh, jeez. But she lived the tale about it. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> 
you know it, she had to go to the hospital and everything and she still does stupid shit yeah yeah or uh, mm. she used to Mm-mm-mm. and there's nothing wrong with wanting to see the beauty of the the landscape and stuff like that leave the damn devices at home or in your p- pocket or something mm-hmm. have it in case of an emergency but enjoy that moment because that's what you're going to carry with you have some self-preservation skills yeah Yeah. so it's your final thoughts yeah okay if you've had experiences with paranormal or supernatural encounters with ufos aliens cryptids if you have known dumb asses that were darwin award winners and would like to share those you can put that in the comment section or you can send us an email, cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com. And the links to the articles and the email address will be there in the description box. Yes. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and most of all, subscribe and click that notification button for daily notifications of our daily uploads. Thank you all and have a good. Know that you're loved. Mm-hmm. And Lord willing, we'll see you on the next cut. Yes. Bye. Bye. Bye.